reading from John's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning at verse 23. Jesus said, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. Well, thank you, Jenny. It's interesting to me as we go into this Gospel passage again, that John, we've been reading John right through Easter, of course, and here we are coming towards the end of Easter. But in a way, John, the, the lectionary takes us back to rehearse some of the, the great teachings that John has given. And I guess uh, here we could we perhaps start by looking at that word peace mm. that is dropped into the middle of the passage. Because we need to remember, don't we? We need to go back and think, well, this is actually Jesus talking to his disciples before his death. Before the crucifixion. Yeah, yeah. so he's sort of going right back to, yeah. to what is coming. And, I, and yes. I, I guess you pick up on some of the sort of confusion and anxiety and mm -hmm. yeah he seems to need to feel he needs to to reassure them yeah i think they seem quite confused about about what's happening well yeah. if i'm honest mm -hmm. i'm still quite confused about this passage in the gospel yeah. actually it's very repetitive yeah these lectionary readings but even so there are some key themes the the, the sense of obedience mm -hmm. uh, or, or love being worked out in obedience and I really uh, enjoy remembering that the root word for obedience comes from listening. Mm. So if we really listen, mm. we, we do what the person is talking about, but also love mm. includes that idea of mm. obedience. Not a very popular word or concept mm. these days. But I like that sort of idea of listening and therefore, you know, of listening to God just as Jesus listens to the Father. And then this this nice sort of um, the promise that they'll come and make our home with us. So it's mm. sort of it's that obedience is earthed in the relationship and community. Yeah, yeah. and community. Yeah. If we yeah. if we bring it back to the disciples and the church, yeah. here's the disciple, the group of disciples who will become the church, mm. who mm. are listening not only to God and the Spirit, but to each other as well yeah, yeah. and uh, I guess in the next few weeks as we go through Pentecost and then into the beginnings of the church we'll see how sometimes they listened really well to each other and at yeah. other times didn't yes, and yeah. um, maybe there's something for us to learn there yeah. too and and still really here they're just getting glimpses from Jesus I mean you can understand you know he says he's going away and of course that mm. that worries mm. them but mm. but then you get these sort of he starts feeding in these ideas of of, of somehow he will be coming back to them and I think that's you get all these sort of coming and going images yeah, which yeah, are quite, even, quite even difficult. Even more confusing. Yeah. But this, this verse 27, peace I leave with you, mm -hmm. my peace I give to you, for me that takes me straight back to that first Easter evening which, mm -hmm. which comes a few chapters mm -hmm. later mm -hmm. when Jesus appears in the upper room and says and greets them, the mm -hmm. traditional greeting, shalom, mm -hmm. peace, yeah. um, mm -hmm. hello, it's, but it's more than that isn't it? It's, yes. it's, there's, it's all is well. Yes. Um, yes. I'm, I'm with you. Yes, and mm. and I think I think I, I was reminded again. It's do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Mm. It's actually mm. putting something back onto us and saying, well, we've, um, yeah, we have to actually. We've we've just been talking about this, and in, in the way we live and work, yes. um, actually consciously say, I'm not going to let myself get rattled over this, or you know, there's there's something yeah. very steadying yeah. I think about yeah. that. That living in the peace of, of the risen living Christ. Living in the peace of the risen Christ. Yeah, yeah. Um, all shall be well, who was it who mm, said those wonderful Julian, words? Yeah. Julian of Norwich, all yes. shall be well, all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be yes. well. Yeah. Mm. And, 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 and yet Jesus can say this when he's going into a context of, of passion, death and, and resurrection. Yes, it's, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more that we could say mm. on this passage, but that's a few tasters and few little things that people could follow up. Yeah, okay. some, some promise there. Mm. Yeah.